Let's try number four. And then we'll jump into some word problems. It looks like we have the skill down pretty well. 10 and 1 7th, and we're going to subtract 3 and 3 fifths from that. First step is lowest common. What's the lowest common denominator here? 35, right? 35. 5 goes into 35 how many times? 7. 7 times 3? 15. Oh, wait, 21. 21. 7 goes into 5? 7 times. No, wait. 7 goes into 35. 35? <laughs> Sorry. 5 times. 5 times 1? 5. So 5 minus 21. Whoa! Can't do that, at least not at this level of math. So what do we do now? Borrow. Borrow. Very good. Where do we borrow from? The 10. Okay. So we're going to take 1 from 10. And then we have this 1 up here. How are we going to combine that 1 with 5 35ths? Add it. Well, 1 would be. You're on to something. Thank you, Jessica. 35 over 35. This is a very important concept. Okay? So we borrowed one, right? But now we have to express that one in terms of the denominator, right? In order to add it in. Right? Because when you're adding fractions, the name of the game is lowest common denominator first. The denominators have to be the same. So this 1, why can I express 1 as 35 35s? Because it's the same thing. It's the same thing. 35 divided by 35 is what? 1. one. one. So I can express my 1, whatever the denominator is. So if the denominator was 42, I would have 42 42s. If the denominator was 33, I'd have 33 33s. But in this case, the denominator is 35. So I'm going to express my 1 that I borrow in terms of the denominator, 35. And now that becomes 35 35, or 35 35 35ths. So 35 plus 5 is 40. All over, all over 35. Now I can do 21 minus 40 is what? 19, all over 35. And then 10 minus 3 is 7, right? No. It's 6, right? Because we borrowed 1, so 9 minus 3 is 6. Now are we done? Yes. Because we cannot reduce 19 to 35, right? Good.